Welcome to Two Guys in a Podcast. I'm Tom. And I'm Mike. Back at you with another reaction video. Booyah! So, we're going to go with the little George Carlin. Four, OG. Yeah, for sure. Uh, four groups that got to go. So, stand by while we get after it. Shut up and sit down. All right, we're back. George Carlin, four groups that got to go. Oh, man, I hope it's the ones I'm picking in my head right now. Wonder if we're in there. No. Could be. I, I doubt old white guys is going to be in his top four. Yeah. We'll see. Because he'd be in there then. You don't care. All right. OG, baby. Let's go. All right, Carlin, let's go. Here's another idea. I'm going to save you a whole lot of money on prisons, but at the same time we are still going to remove from society many of our more annoying citizens. Four groups are going away permanently. First group, violent criminals. Here's what you do with these Emmy Award winners. You take the entire state of Kansas. You move everybody out. You give them a couple of hundred dollars for their inconvenience, you know. Gotta be fair. And then, you move them out, you put a big 10-story electric fence around Kansas, and Kansas becomes a permanent prison farm for violent criminals. No parole, no police, no supplies. The only thing you give them is lethal weapons and live ammunition so they can communicate in a meaningful way. <laughs> then, if you put the whole thing on cable TV, the violence network, VNN, and for a corporate sponsor, you get one of those companies that loves to smear its logo feces all over the landscape. Budweiser will jump at this shit in half a minute. All right, next group, sex criminals. Completely incurable, you gotta lock them up. You could outlaw religion and most of these sex crimes would disappear in a couple of generations. But we don't have time for rational solutions. Much easier to fence off another rectangular state. Rectangular states are cheaper to fence, saves the taxpayers money, you know? This time, Wyoming. But only for true sex offenders. We're not going to bother consenting adults who like to dress up in leather Boy Scout uniforms and smash each other in the head with ball-peen hammers while they take turns blowing their cat. There's certainly nothing wrong with that. It's a victimless hobby. And think of how good the cat must feel. No, we're only going to lock up rapists and molesters, those hopeless romantics <laughs> who are so full of love they can't help getting a little of it on you, usually on your leg. You take all these heavy-breathing fun seekers and you stick them in Wyoming and you let them suck, fuck, and fondle. You let them blow, chew, sniff, lick, whip, gobble, and cornhole each other until... Their testicles are whistling, oh come all ye faithful. <laughs> then, then you turn on the cameras and you got the sperm channel. And don't forget our corporate sponsor, we're gonna let Budweiser put little logo patches on the rapist pants right here. This pud's for you. Otherwise, I can't be too all happy all right. about that. Next group, drug addicts and alcoholics. Not all of them don't get nervous. <laughs> you know there's several in the crowd. <laughs> Just the ones who are making life difficult for at least one other person. And we're not going to bother first offenders. People deserve a chance to clean up. Everyone will get 12 chances to clean up. Okay. 15, 15, 15, that's fine, and that's it. If you can't make it in 15 tries, off you go to Colorado. Colorado, the perfect, a perfect place for staying loaded. Each week, all of the illegal drugs confiscated in the United States that the police and DEA don't keep for their own personal use <laughs> will be airdropped into Colorado. And we're going to turn the Coors Brewery over to the beer-drinking assholes, and everyone can stay wasted, wired, stoned, bombed, hammered, smashed, and shit-faced round the clock on another new cable channel, shit Face Central. This is the real Rocky Mountain High! <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, 
Okay, I've saved my favorite group for last. The maniacs and crazy people. He's yeah. everybody else. The ones who live out where the buses don't run. And I distinguish between maniacs and crazy people. A maniac will beat nine people to death with a steel dildo. A crazy person will beat nine people to death with a steel dildo, but he'll be wearing a Bugs Bunny suit at the time. So you can't put them all away. You know, you gotta keep some of them around just for the entertainment. Like a guy who tells you the king of Sweden is using his penis as a radio transmitter to send anti-Semitic lesbian meatloaf recipes to soupy sales in Marvin Hamlish. A guy like that, you want to give him his own radio show. No, the maniac farm will be reserved strictly for hopeless cases, like a guy who gets a big tattoo on his chest of Eliza Minnelli taking a shit. You know? And he tells you if he wiggles a certain way, it looks like she's wiping her ass, you know? A guy like that, you want to get him into custody as quickly as possible. Now, for the Maniac Farm, I think there's no question we got to go with Utah. Utah, easy to fence, easy to fence, right next to Wyoming and Colorado, and Colorado is right next to Kansas, and that means all four groups of our most amusing citizens are now in one place, except for the big fences. And I think I have another one of my really good ideas for cable TV. Gates. Small sliding gates in the fences. Think of what you've got here. Think of what you've got. Predators, degenerates, crackheads, and fruitcakes. 900 miles of fence separating them. Every 50 miles, you put a small sliding gate. But the gates are only 10 inches wide, and they're only open once a month for seven seconds. And you know something? Fuck cable. This shit has got to be on pay-per-view. <laughs> because if those gates are only open seven seconds a month, you are going to have some mighty interesting people pushing and shoving to be first online. Deeply disturbed, armed, cranky lunatics on drugs. You know the ones, a lot of tattoos, a lot of teeth broken off at the gum line. The true face of America. And every time you open the gates, a few of the more aggressive ones are going to get through. The creme de la creme. The alphas. They're going to get through, they're going to find each other, and they're going to crossbreed. And pretty soon you have a melting pot. Child killers, corpse fuckers, drug zombies, and full-blown wackaloons. Wandering the landscape in search of truth and fun. Just like now. Everyone will have guns, everyone will have drugs, and no one will be in charge. Just like now. But at least we'll have a balanced budget. So... How fucking nuts do you have to be to come up with some of that Some shit? of the stuff that he said, I was thinking that exact same thing. Like, how long or how did he just come up with that? Like, how much drugs did he do? How long was he in isolation? <laughs> like, that's some fucking... Genius. Just genius. Genius or a was... little fucking cuckoo. Well, he's, yeah, definitely on the, on the, on the uh, you know, easy side of, you know sane but oh gee he was awesome and the key with that is he could he could deliver it like he could deliver it so well yeah i mean he i was thinking even his voice the way he a, uses it yeah it's not like annoying as shit yeah you know where it's gonna be like shut the fuck up already yeah you know very very good good stuff george carlin four groups that gotta go yeah. and see we weren't in there his four groups are pretty pretty good groups we weren't in that group in yeah. any of the groups i kept thinking escape from new york <laughs> you know that old movie i haven't watched that movie yeah, in it was years like probably 35 years 20 20 35 years ago uh, 35 years ago Fact anyway very it. funny yeah they build a huge wall around new york and put all the criminals there good stuff man yeah 
Appreciate you joining us. Um, keep keep uh, keep hanging out. We'll do some more. Appreciate it. George Carlin OG. Go check him out. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Tom. Deuces.